surprised who he's picking. You know, he's he's been playing the Fire Emblem character since forever. Oh yeah, I feel like since the beginning of time. Yeah. Uh, pretty much was uh, mainly Marth in Smash Four, but in this game, man, Marth is uh, Marth just a shadow of his former self. Definitely Marth's worst game. Hopefully the patches will come through. Dude, I'm hoping because Marth is like. Marth is one of my boys. Dude, I need that Marth is actually to be like good. Marth might be more of a Smash character than a Fire Emblem character. Might might have got yeah. to that point. Yeah, he's, he's, he's so been iconic. in more Fire Emblem, or he's been in more Smash games. I feel like. Yeah, I mean, coming from LA, and he's been iconic in every single like he's been meta in every single Smash game. So almost every single one. <laughs> almost every. <single> one. <laughs> when Leo can't make Marth work, that's when you know, man. All right, Sakurai, we gotta have a talk. But anyways, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Of course, Mr. E and the buzz is Olimar on Pokemon Stadium 2. Yeah, and the buzz, man, making it uh, very difficult. Wow, snatching up Mr. E just that far of a distance. The charge up smash to be able to snatch that up. What's the offstage? No, I'm going to offer the ledge trap here. Down tilt, going to get punished with him. Back air out of shield. And I like that. Using, utilizing Nair because Mr. E like, kept track of the Olimar or of the Pikmin order. He knew that the purple one wasn't in next in order. So Nair did in fact connect, it would just take it out. Just take out a Pikmin. And right now the buzz is, wow, up B to approach with the purple Pikmin. Double purple though, that is the dream team. Double purple, insert anyone for the third one, it doesn't matter. The more purple is the better. Yeah, but now we have double purple into red. Oh man, that shield is looking low, man. Purples will mess you up and mess that shield up as well. Getting a little bit extra range with the S Smash from the red Pikmin. Yeah, and you saw him like double whistle too. So the whistle does rotate the lineup uh, by one. So really great management for coming out from the buzz. I mean, when it comes to like managing his Pikmin, the buzz has always been amazing at it. Yep, he's been doing it since Brawl. Over <laughs> a decade of managing Pikmin. Wow, 62 is just like that. It's a crazy thing about Almar, man. He's a very good zoner, especially the more purples you have, the stronger of a zoner he is. Because side B toss with the purple pigment actually put you in the tumble. And on top of that, he has those early percent combos. Still, 72%. Ooh, okay. Good forward air from the ledge. Oh, but no more purples in sight. Buzz trying to get... Uh, oh, there's another one, though. Man, the three is down to take all that white pigment tick damage. Gets the forward tilt, though. Work. That's kind of unfortunate because it took like a good amount of damage. He was able to clean up the stock, but just seeing Mr. E go from the 70s to like almost 130 because of Pikmin dot damage. Yes. It adds up, man. It does. That's why, uh, so, I mean, if, if it's not a purple Pikmin getting thrown, all the other Pikmin will latch onto the opponent and uh, kind of harass them, I guess, beat them up. I don't know what they're doing when they're latched off. <laughs> <laughs> They're messing up the clothes for sure. <laughs> Let me wrinkle this cape. Yeah. Wait, never getting these wrinkles <laughs> out. Yeah. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> I'm going to bite a hole in your cape. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, a good jab reset into an S match. Oh, the there's, back no double air. Jump. there's no double jump on Mr. E here. Down air? Oh, almost. Yeah, right there. That, that was more of a. I, it was a harder layup, but definitely a, a doable layup for the buzz there. But Mr. E is holding on to this last stock, holding on tight. When is this even going to start using that F smash at the ledge that he's so, so known for using? Like, come on, man. Let it rip. I, I mean, maybe Mr. E's adopting a different style, or maybe he's gotten punished one too many times for those forward smashes, but still surviving that purple back air. Mr. E making his way to the ledge. Okay, double purple and blue. The holy trinity yeah, of, this of is, Pikmin. <laughs> this is the last stock, last hit, the lineup you don't want to deal with. <laughs> I can grab you, I can just hit you, but oh, it looks like Blue, Blue is not part of the lineup no more. No, unfortunately, he got cut down. Even that red Pikmin going down, but double purple, still hanging strong with Olimar. Yeah, and uh, the purple Pikmin do have the most amount of health, so it can be a little bit harder to slice, uh, slice some dice. Hey, up throw. Up throw. Of course, That's with uh, all that extra rage, you yeah. know, going to secure that, that up throw kill. And Olimar just being incredibly light. All right, well, uh, right, yep, yep, yep. yep. Raise, your, raise your Pikmin in the air. Yeah, and it's crazy how strong that kill throw is. <laughs> I believe it's the strongest up throw kill throw in the game, Blue Pikmin. I wouldn't be surprised. I've seen that kill at very surprising percents. I'll, I'll put it in that. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Yes. A nice subtle way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm definitely, uh... I've seen some things, I've definitely man. been on the receiving end of it, and... Oh, oh, oh that's unfortunate. Not fun. But, you know what?
It, it's still like I never want to throw too much shade at characters. Of course, it's all playful black yes. banter um, through my experience and everyone else's uh. experience. But you know, it, it does take um, a lot of skill just to like play this game and be very proficient. The buzz, very consistent at this game, and you know, with, even with the all marner, still able to bring this character consistently to these uh, to a lot of these top eights of tournaments. I mean, you can just see, it only took one interaction to get Mr. E to 50%, Jeez. and then latching on with extra damage. That, that's where all this extra damage is coming from, just latching the Pikmin on. Yeah, especially when you latch a Pikmin, especially a white Pikmin, and then you hit the up smash, <laughs> like the dot damage is going off while you're doing up smash, up smash, up air, up air, like that's a nightmare. That's the worst feeling ever. Okay, but, so okay. Back air gonna connect. I mean, the buzz is at kill percent. Uh, Olimar definitely uh, not the heaviest character. Same time, so both players that kill percent. I want to see a back throw putting Mr. Uh, Mr. E in a ledge trap scenario. Ledge jump, wave land down. Don't see that too often. Very uh, nice mix up coming out from the buzz. Wow, the white pick forward smash killed cross stage. I, I, I just have to wonder if that was bad DI or what. He may not have been prepared because he kind of didn't exactly have an angle on that on that recovery. Yep, oh, there's the forward air, but beautiful tech coming out from the buzz. Almost covers the ledge roll, but uh, not quite quick enough to the punch there for Mr. E. Both purple Pikmin have to get ditched, though that's big, and kind of doesn't matter because the up air connects anyway. 33%. That's uh, one good interaction that Mr. E needs to bring back the deficit. This is really good, though. It doesn't feel like Mr. E is playing from like a huge deficit in terms of like an entire stock lead this game. So keeping it more close to even now with the lead even. Okay, another up tilt. Oh, but Mr. E has no second jump. This is going to be juggle time. Unfortunately, Mr. E able to land. The buzz going to give up that stage position. There's the up air, but Mr. E able to get back onto the stage in time. But was it on time? Uh, the buzz able to smack him up with the yellow Pikmin. And now the lineup uh, is pulled to yellow and the red. But man, they're going to slice. Stuff. Using the extended Epsil actually took out two Pikmin, so it covers like such a wide range. So if if the Buzz is in fact like trying to utilize the side B and just flat chicken on, it just eliminates all of them. But I believe a purple should be coming up soon. But right now the Buzz keeps hanging on this ledge for quite some time, forcing him to get up. But there's the yellow up smash, and here comes the purple. And then purple coming in clutch for the Buzz once again. Ooh, he throws the purple game. off though. Maybe he thought it was going to go off stage. I think it was like more about like forcing Mr. E to pick an option at the ledge because he like barely went over the ledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, gets the white system last on, but ooh, the Dolphin Slash looks like it's going to take it out. And the dash grab, dash grabs are so laggy in this game, so the buzz with a lot of time to punish that, and the backer will seal that stop. Okay, side B getting a good amount of damage with the, the blade dance. Dancing, dancing blade. blade. My bad. You're right. Well, you I don't a Fire even... Emblem fan. <laughs> fly. I only have 120 hours on three houses. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. It only beat one one route so far. So okay. don't look at me. <laughs> You're definitely going in on the game. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's right. Just like Mr. E trying to go in on the buzz, but answering right back. <laughs> that was definitely 10 out of 10. <laughs> that was nice. That was Chris. Fly. All right, but I mean, right now, last talk of peace. Right now, and. Right now, it looks like Mr. E, the one in control. What's the ledge trap here? Ooh, a get-up attack. We haven't seen that all set from the buzz. Getting a little aggressive here. I mean, you're right, because usually he would just utilize, like, a, a forward air from the ledge. Oh, oh, the shield break. You hate to see it, but the buzz is popping off. Actually, that was incredible shield pressure uh, from the buzz. And you know what's crazy? It looked like Mr. E was trying to set up, like, some shield pressure from above on uh -huh. Olimar, but it just... the the buzz kind of flipped the situation on him. Is actually like, uh, actually, I'm setting up for a shield fork or shield break on you. That was actually, yeah, that was crazy. Just the moves I was throwing out, and they continued. It almost looked like he was aiming for the shield. Forget a shield poke. I'm gonna get the guaranteed kill by breaking your shield. Yeah. And I mean. The purples just do so much shield damage, oh, right? So, sure. like, Mystery's shield was looking really healthy. I do agree with this counter pick. Um, I feel like Mystery is very comfortable uh, let's trapping Olimar on the stage. Um, yeah, I mean, game one was working out so well, but it was just came down to the wire. The buzz was just a little bit more clutch than Mystery <laughs> in that last talk, last hit situation. 
Okay, Awake, another get up attack from the ledge. I'm starting to see the buzz utilize that A button at the ledge a little bit more. Okay, anyway, good dancing blade coming from Mr. Luke. So applying pressure now. I like that. Utilizing the side B from Olimar to apply pressure, forcing Mr. E in the shield, and then using that time to approach. Very smart from the buzz, very calculated, but another sliding Edsel. Uh, chop up some pigment. Oh, great parry on that down air. Now, the buzz answering right back with the forward air of his own. Okay, okay, snatching him up with the blue. Uh, not quite ready for the uh, kill just yet. Gonna set up the uh, ledge situation here. Yeah, trying to apply a little bit more kill pressure. Uh, going with these like max range uh, Nair and Fares. And I love how Mr. E is getting rid of these purples. Uh, you see the down tilts, you see the neutrals, right? Just, um, wow, there's the up air coming out from the buzz. Yeah. But that's the one thing about throwing out purple. It's really good, but you do expose the purple pigment, right? So it gives your opponent a uh, chance to hit them up. True. That drop down forward air. Utilizing a second jump, just kind of going right underneath like some of the pigment that were coming Mr. E's way. Closing out that stock. Okay. Again, still keeping up with this corner pressure right now. Uh, back on the ledge here for the buzz. Catch the lining with the dancing blade. And here comes the purple. Okay, forward throw. Purple's next. Oh, no. Blue's next in line. Yeah, he's going to definitely utilize that range there. Try to catch a ledge roll maybe. But man, that extended forward tilt. Mystery's definitely making great use of that tech. Oh, sure. It just covers so much space. And of course, being like sliding while you're doing it, it's going to cover even more. The buzz, uh, doing that normal get up into the jab, trying to get a little bit more aggressive with the roll. Almost reacts to it on time, but the buzz able to squeeze out that spot dodge. Okay, but double personal into a white. Okay, getting a couple double tilts, getting a couple down tilts. He's going to get rid of that purple Pikmin. Not only really one has to, one that Mystery has to deal with. There's the forward air, and again, such a close. Uh, game. I mean, I mean, after seeing game number one, a lot of people might have thought like, "Oh wow, this is, like this is gonna be really convincing for the buzz." But honestly, Mystery has been doing an incredible job here against the buzz. Wow! Can you make it back? Yeah, you can make it wow. back. Wow. Okay, match with that B purple. button. <laughs> Ooh, almost gonna take it the aerial up B, the soft stage, and the yeah drop off air. Both these guys just drop zoning each other really, really hard. I mean, really sure aggressive off stage. These two have. I'm sure I've played quite a bit, so they're yeah. used to like they're used to like how each other likes to recover. Yeah, these guys uh pretty sure like not only just in tournament, these guys will grind with each other offline as well. You know those uh, New York vests. Okay, another forward throw and putting Olimar back off stage. Oh, and that time reacting to the roll. The directional air dodge to ledge gonna work out for the buzz once again, and he throws out the roll, the no mix-up mix-up. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate for Mr. E. He threw out an upper air expecting to hit Olimar, but in fact, he just hit a blue pigment. Kind of stalled him and allowed him, uh, the buzz to set up a punish. But a Nair does connect onto the buzz. There goes a the purple pigment. That's big. Wow. And the little puff fake coming out from the buzz. Now he's the one with stage control, and he shields the forward air. And just like that, able to swap positions and still be able to be offensive out of the shield and just the up smash out of shield punish on Mr. E. Closing it out 3 0, but man, it was a. Very close 3 0. It was a very close 3 0. Like, the 3 0 just doesn't do that. what that set actually was justice. Yeah. Like, it was so. I feel honestly, the majority of those games could have gone either way. They were all going into Buzz's favor because of, like, clutch plays that he was doing. Right. We saw a lot of scenarios where, like, Mr. E was trying to apply pressure, but because of the Buzz's small character or because of the, utilizing the super armor on the whistle, he was able to switch places and just make a complete reverse. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean,. It's just so hard, right? You take the ledge trap, you go off stage, and it, it just depends on how you're feeling and how confident you are. That time, Mystery went for the uh, edge guard, didn't quite work out, and the buzz was able to reverse the situation. Even like, even that game two, like, oh, both game two and game three were so, so close, but the buzz able to just really, his experience shines in yes. those particular situations because you- Why he's top 10 player. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 